Introducing your new Simplicity Touch Interactive Flat Panel. Intuitive, dynamic, engaging. This video library is designed to help guide you as you learn your new classroom resource. Your Simplicity Touch came with important connecting cables, three stylus, a cleaning cloth, and a remote control. Your cable connections include HDMI, VGA, a power cable, and a USB for touch. The first thing we're going to learn are about power basics. The Simplicity Touch has a main power switch. It's located right next to the main entry point of the power plug. You also have the option to power up from the front of the panel using the button or from the remote control. Your LED sensor will be red when your main power switch is on, but the panel itself is in standby mode. I will press the power button and you'll notice my LED sensor changes to blue. If I had no sensor at all here, it would indicate that I'm either not plugged into the wall or the main power switch is not on. If you've powered up and you see a no signal state, chances are you haven't connected your computer yet. We're going to get connected now. First, assess the connections available on your computer. Do you have an HDMI port or do you have a VGA port? You will need an audio-visual connection and a USB touch connection between your computer and the panel. Both an HDMI and a VGA cable are shipped with the panel. Select the cable that meets your computer specifications and connect. If you are hooking up via a VGA cable, make sure it is fully connected, tighten the screws, and secure the connection on both devices. Don't forget the audio pigtail. It needs to be plugged in at both the panel and your computer. You'll always need two cables when using this as an interactive version of your computer. Either a VGA plus the USB for touch or an HDMI plus the USB for touch. So you've connected your computer. In my example, I used an HDMI cable and my USB. Remember, the USB is very important because it controls the touch. From my no signal state, I'm going to follow the instructions and use the input button to select the appropriate source. Once you select the input button, you'll see the icons and select the source that you've connected to. Now I have the image of my desktop. I won't need to go back to my computer from this moment forward because this is a giant interactive version of my computer. Let's talk touch basics for interacting with your computer files and programs. You have similar touch capability to using a mouse. Single touch would be select. Double tap would be open. And a long press and hold will give you your right click menu. These are important because you don't have to go back to your computer at any time. Other things that are really important, if you have a Windows operating system or a Mac OS X, you'll want to be sure that you engage your on-screen keyboard from your actual computer application. In addition, you can open any file and use what's built into that program as far as annotation, touch, and zoom. At any time, if you would like to use the home screen or the Android operating system of the panel, simply select the home button from the front of the panel or from the remote control, and it will bring you to the home screen. Switching between the home screen back to your PC is easy. One press, back to input. And when I no longer want to be in my computer, I can use the home button and navigate back to the Android operating system. If you don't have Express installed on your computer, head on over to RecordX USA, select the software link, 
and choose the version of Express that meets your operating system. Install, and we're going to get started with that software basics next. Let's get started with the basics of orienting you to the Express software. Now that the program is launched, let's talk the basics of whiteboarding using Express. You'll notice two toolbars. The top toolbar is the annotation toolbar, where you'll find your annotation suite, such as pen, highlighter, shapes menu, your erasers, the ability to insert images from your cloud accounts or from anywhere stored on your computer, bringing in webcam images, media files, text files, and a browser all built into the platform. This keeps you from having to go and open multiple applications all at once. Bring that multimedia straight into your whiteboarding experience using Express. Remember, once you select an item, you'll use a drag and drop to bring it into your whiteboard. This is a multi-page PDF, and while it is selected, I can scroll through. Notice I also have my annotation and my presenter toolbars so that I can annotate on top of this at any time. The main menu in Express is located on the side. You'll notice the hamburger in the top right. Open the main menu by the hamburger. These are your options to create new workbooks, open existing workbooks, save your file, save it under another name, clone a page, delete a page, and add pages. You'll notice at the bottom, we have integrated Screencast-O-Matic for flipping your classroom. These are your screen capture options if you would like to export this to a PDF or an image file. Help files are coming soon. And the bottom are your settings. Select settings and you'll notice you have the save path for your actual Express workbook documents, how you would like the format of a screenshot to be. For example, right now you see I've set mine to PDF, but I have the option of a PNG, JPEG, or a PDF. In an education setting, we often like to export our workbooks into PDF format, so that's why I've selected that option. You'll notice I have a default URL. It comes set at google.com, but if you're an Office 365 or a OneDrive district, you may want to set this to your OneDrive page. You may want this to be your school website as well. If you'll notice going down the page, I have the option to check for software updates. Now I'd like to look at the accounts page. You have the option to link directly to your Google Drive or to your Microsoft OneDrive account. Once you select it, you'll go through the steps and you'll be able to easily access content and bring it into your Express workbook. To clean the interactive flat panel, use a soft cloth. You can either use the included microfiber, or a soft cloth where you use a screen cleaner. Spray directly on the cloth, never spray directly on the panel, and wipe it down. Be sure not to use anything that has alcohol in it. 